peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers. Now let's not waste no more time. Let's get right into this. You think all women are good in bed? I think that's a stupid question. Who the fuck you talking to? The, uh, do you think... Who the fuck you talking to? Oh, 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 I was just saying, I think in general, when men ask that question, it's just, what's, what's the answer you're looking for? Self-awareness that you ain't the shit, trick. <laughs> Watch who you talking to. I was polite. But to say it's a stupid question minimizes men. How come it's okay for you women to question whether or not a man is good in bed? And that's completely fine. You gotta have an anaconda, girl. Women can talk about size, girth, length, physical prowess, what he must do, and that's completely okay. If a man simply asks, are you proficient? That's stupid. Crazy. Crazy, right? Man, I miss this guy, man. Can you imagine if he was still alive right now, son? The great work he would have done? How many people he would have converted from be think having this stupid way of thinking and stuff, right? Simps. You notice after he passed away, Simps has gone a little bit stronger. I don't know why that is. Simps, uh, man, they are something else, man. They are definitely something else. But yeah, see, like, that was a per I'm happy that he said it, because I was about to say the same thing. I was like, why is it, why is it that joints can say anything right they can say anything oh he has to be good in sex blah, blah, blah. he has to be able to, to to knock the boots good all that stuff man he, he has to have the anaconda he has to last for three hours all that stuff right but a moment we say like yo she has to be good and bad or something like that or is she good and bad now nah, that's a problem like i understand i listen i understand you know what i'm saying I, I, i've said this many times listen at the end of the day when it comes to the bedroom action Man, we're the ones doing most of the work. Let's be real. We're the, we're the ones doing most of the work, man. And when it comes to the asphalt, bro, we have to penetrate it our damn self, right? Our hips and everything got to be in order. And everything. You know what I'm saying? We got to have yeah, the motion, the motion, all that. So we got to be able to do all that, right? And I, and, I, and I do that with great joy. And I think the problem is, I think a lot of joints realize that dude's going to get the net off regardless. Like me, I'm, I'm going to get mine regardless. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, even if she lays there, which I still don't advise any young lady to do that. I, I'm still going to get mine. Because I'm able to feel the nice warm crevice that she calls her vaginal warmth sleeve. Yeah, that's definitely going to do the thing. So I'm thinking that's the reason why a lot of joints don't ever really have to worry about really being able to perform. Because dudes are going to knock most. A lot of guys, I think the average guy lasts, what, 10 minutes? That 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, to me, the 10 minutes is a marathon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you talk about 10 minutes, you'd be lucky if you get five. If you talking about, son, especially the coochie's good. If you make me last more than 10 minutes, you got to start looking at yourself and reevaluating the, the coochie. Yeah, but, man, I'm liking how he just kept her in check. Just keep her in check. Like, how dare you? Who you think you are, son? This guy's old enough to be your dad. You talking to she look like she was, like, 22 years old? Who you talking to like that, son? If she was right there, son, he would have released them on a holy backhand upon her, son. You would think Zeus laid the thunderclap on the earth's crevice. God, I miss this guy. Women love it when men cheat. Why do I say this? Well, because I know it. I know it. I, I sat down over the last couple of weeks. I've talked to women across the board. And I'm going to tell you, the women that matter... The kind of women that you want, gentlemen, they, one thing that women hate more than anything else is being bored. And when you don't cheat, you're boring. When you don't cheat, you're boring. When you are at home up under her butt, sniffing up under her, telling her that she's, your, she's everything you want her to be, she'll love that for about that long and the next thing you know, she'll be shebanger banging your best friend. So um, I didn't make women the way they are. I don't write the rules. I don't have the software. But one thing that I know is that a woman, a man who is cheating on his woman, has a woman who is 
involved. <laughs> what I mean, you got to give us something to worry about, gentlemen. You better give your woman something to worry about because the worst thing you can do with a modern woman is to let her feel comfortable. This has come from the mouths of women, not men. Facts, 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 facts. Let's be real. Let's be real. You guys know, for those who've been following me for a long time, I'm a big time advocate when it comes to cheating, right? Uh, you just got to do what you got to do sometimes, right? If that young lady's willing to give you the joint, especially knowing that you have a significant other at home or at, I don't know, a dorm room or something like that, who are you to deny her the peen? Right. But here's the thing. All jokes aside, though, for real, what he's saying right now, I, I agree with him wholeheartedly, son. I feel like a lot of joints enjoy mayhem. A lot of joints. Have you noticed that? If your girl likes to watch a lot of reality TV, why is that? Like seeing drama, a whole lot of stuff. It's almost like it's, it's, it's like it, it gives them energy. This is not all. It's not all of them, but a lot of them. Right. Uh, it's almost like. Um, I, I've come to realize that a lot of joints love to complain, right? And if you're not giving them something to complain about, it gets really boring. It's like, damn, man. Like, Kathy down the street, she's able to say this, 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 this. This is not every woman. I'm going to have to say this again. This is not every woman, but it's a damn, it's damn sure a lot of them, son. Um, if you're not out here cheating and doing stuff, right? I feel like they look at it as, okay, this guy must not be able to get hoes. Why am I settling with this guy, right? He seems like he's pressed to have me. He's treating me like I'm a big time prize. Like, does that mean, <laughs> does that mean he can't do better? Am I settling with this guy? Like, I'm trying to tell you, some people gonna say, Felix, you're crazy. I'm trying to tell you, there's a lot of joints that think like this, bro. They be like, bro, if he's not out here trying to pull any other joint, or he's just up under me, son, he's just extra simping on me and everything like that. It seems like he's really excited to have me. He probably can't believe he has, right? He's treating her like Beyonce and everything. Like, yo, I know I'm not Beyonce. Why is he treating me like I'm Beyonce? He must not be able to get hoes. If he can't get hoes, no girl wants to do that other girls don't want. So they look at it, it's like, this guy probably can't get, and this is the best that he's ever got. But now, if you out there cheating, oh, he gets hoes. Oh, I gotta step my game up, right? Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta watch out, so I can't, I can't let my guard down. Some other woman is gonna steal my man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell you, son, this guy's speaking facts. People, people will look at me like I'm crazy. Like, oh, I can't believe he's like, I'm trying to tell you, he's speaking facts. Like I said, I'm going to keep repeating. It's not for every joint, but a lot of joints, it's like that. I'm telling you that, like this, though, if you're dealing with those type of joints, though, you should probably push it to the side. Most of the time, uh, those type of joints are usually associated with the streets. Most of the time. Oh, man, I miss this guy. Being pretty is not enough for a lot of men because... I'm pretty and I'm still single, so. What do you want? I, I don't. I, I don't know. I really okay. don't know what I want because these men they don't know what they want. A lot of men don't know what they want in women. Mm. And you said you're how old again? We don't. We don't know. We know what we want. We might not tell you. We might not tell you because we're trying to use you as a as a uh, a vaginal sleeve. You know what I'm saying? We might not tell you, but our actions will show. Y'all, y'all don't know what y'all want. <laughs> a lot of joints don't know what they want, bro. I'm going to keep the band with you, son. He'll say, I want a nice guy, but then he'll lose the nice guy to get with the a-hole. You know what I'm saying? I've seen joints say, like, oh, yeah, I only date tall guys. I mean, granted, I'm tall, so I never have to worry about it. Boom. I've seen joints say, I only date tall, tall guys. Boom. I see her mess with a dude that's, like, five foot five. Five foot four. I'm, I, true story. True story. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, y'all don't know what y'all want, bro. Let's keep the band. You said you're how old again? 33. 33. So regardless as to what men want, you don't know what you want? I mean, I know what I want, but... Well, what is that? <laughs> Guys, remember the first thing I said about ego? They're not willing to be honest. To be honest with you, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what I want in a man. Like, I've been screwed and fucked for so long, I don't know what I want in a man. Just in this little bit of time of talking to you. First of all, we knew that. We knew that. 33 years old, bumper bones, still singing, all that stuff. Like, we knew that. 
I'm just happy that you're saying that, man. I bet you if we saw the full video, she probably said she was celibate for months or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, we knew that, though. We knew you were smashing. Yeah, 100%. Talking to you, it's been chaotic. I'm just asking you just the basic stuff about your, who you are and what you want. And um, the sto way you told the story is, yeah, you can't make this shit up, people. Give myself a solid 9.8. I guess he has like trust issues with women or whatnot. So I'm like sharing my location with him just to make him feel comfortable. Is that Are you, have you had any therapy? <laughs> yes, I have in the you, past. You need to go back. Oh my gosh, really? And you're already trying to make him feel comfortable two weeks into it. Right. That's too much proving <gasps> to do. You're not his, you're not his wife. I'm just being nice and being like, that's hey, not being, like, no, it's not, no, no, it's not being nice. It's being a people pleaser. That's not normal. That's not normal. You want to be nice? All right, let's go out a couple of times. I need you to give me $10,000. Be nice. Oh, be, be nice. No. I mean, come on, be nice. I mean, come on, be nice. I need $10,000 and we need to go ahead and run the soul train on you. Be nice. No. Of course. So you, so, so there are things that sound crazy to you. Yes. Yes. Sharing your location with somebody you've gone out with twice is crazy. Okay. I got married, but I don't want to be with You got married? Woman. Yeah. You currently married? Yes. I'm oh, married. Yeah. no, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Ma'am, are you trolling me? No, I'm not. A platform with a million folks actively talking about leaving your husband to get back with your ex because he's high value and i felt like and the reason you want to oh my goodness bro the streets is real guys the pavement the pavement itself i'm, I'm telling you son it's, it's like it's like when you hear when you hear these things you're just like bro there ain't no way <laughs> Son, you just got you just gotta ride the ride the pavement, son. Ride the pavement. The thing that's savage about it, the thing that's savage, this goes back to the earlier part of the video, son. Like what's she talking about? He high value. I bet you he's not even high value. I bet you he's not even high value. I bet you money he's not high value, bro. It's just the fact that the ex was probably cheating on her. And she's like, oh, he gets hoes. This this new guy is just like, this guy's too nice. Why did he marry me? The other guy didn't want to marry me. But why you marry me? You don't get hopes. <laughs> that, that's what I think, at least. Break your covenant with God and wreck your home of the pipe fitter guy is because the previous guy was higher value, meaning he earns more money. Yeah, and his social status, how he looks. What would the world say about that man? It would say that this woman he got back with is the one he always wanted. She belongs and to the streets. Like, um, excuse my French, niggas alone, they always want to take me to court. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> it means that it's like when I break up from with a guy, I go through divorces because they can't take me leaving them in the dust, in the dirt, where I left them at. Because mm -hmm. they don't act right. So I have to move on. Is that right? Do you think that that's right of them? Why are you so? Why are you? Why are you such a poor judge of character to pick me and you gotta leave? Run that back! I couldn't really. Oh damn! No, oh ooh, damn! Man. Why are you such a poor judge? No ma'am. I no ma'am. I listened to what you said. You came what? in talking about how you feel like you're in divorce court because you gotta leave these men in the dirt, and all I hear is you're a shit judge of character picking men because you don't leave quality men. You absolutely right. So God, please stop sending me. That's. No, no, God ain't got nothing to do with it. No, God ain't got nothing to do with it. Please don't bring my God into this. Oh, man. My goodness. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if he was alive now, son? Would the streets be as strong? I don't think so. I don't think so, man. I, I, I think they're, they're increasing in ranks. The moment he passed out, uh, passed away, man, and I feel like 
or, or it's like a downward spiral, right? Granted, though, even though in his time being alive, he was able to help a few young joints shift a little bit, at least think a little bit differently. It's great. It's great stuff, man. Definitely great stuff. Man, I miss this guy, man. But that's all I got to say on this, man. If you stay this long, I appreciate you. I love you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way, you always be one of the first to hear the voice. Same time, leave a like because I'm so damn insecure in those likes. Definitely let me know I'm doing a stand up job. Same time, you gotta buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Link in the description box below. That's all I gotta say. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. I'm out.